At Kim Jong-un's nuclear bomb testing site, a stir of new activity. The monitoring group 38 North says satellite imagery of the Punggye ri site reveals the pumping out of water at the North Portal, the tunnel that North Korea may have been preparing for a nuclear test. The pictures from April 25th also show what appear to be mining carts near that tunnel. This kind of activity uh, shows that they're either maintaining or preparing uh, the nuclear test site for another test. This comes days after the U.S. military observed digging activity near that same crucial tunnel. A U.S. defense official tells CNN this suggests a nuclear bomb test is not imminent. Analysts say if Kim was about to test, they'd stop activity and clear everyone out. But the danger remains. We know North Korea is going to do another nuclear test, just as we know that they're going to do an ICBM test eventually. We just don't know when. A top White House official now says there are additional sinister motives for Kim Jong-un in building his nuclear arsenal. They want to use these weapons as an instrument of blackmail to achieve other goals, even including perhaps uh, a coercive reunification of the Korean Peninsula one day after they can uh, attempt to coerce the United States to, uh, to, to leave the peninsula and to abandon our alliances. Could the U.S. be blackmailed into abandoning South Korea? No. We have treaty obligations. We have a ironclad commitment to defend our allies. A commitment shown in brand new video of the USS Vincent Carrier Strike Group with fighter jets flying overhead, conducting exercises with South Korean ships. U.S. military officials say the carrier group is now off the Korean Peninsula, a response to Kim's recent provocations. This all comes as Pyongyang has accused an American, Tony Kim, of trying to overthrow the regime. He's now the third American detained in North Korea. The regime says Tony Kim had worked there temporarily as an accounting professor, but they don't say specifically what he did to get arrested. You can basically be arrested for anything in North Korea. When we entered, they gave us a very long list of things we should not bring. No religious tracts of any sort, no Bibles, but also no porn, no firearms, um, no DVDs of popular movies. Now, analysts say the North Koreans will very likely use these three Americans they're detaining as bargaining chips for some kind of concession from the U.S. But they say if any of these men becomes ill, they'll most likely be released.